Problems on weight and mass. Problem 1. A man weighs 600 Newton on the earth. What is his mass? We know that weight is m into g. Now m is equal to weight into 1 by g. So weight is 600 Newton given there and g is 9.8 meters per second square. So which will give rise to 61.22 kg. So the mass of the man on the earth is who weighs a weight of 600 newtons is 61.22 kg. A man of weight 61 kg, we can say that weight is 600 newtons. Now let us go to the second part of the question. If he were to take to the moon, his weight would be 100 newtons. What is his mass on the moon? So we found what is his mass on the earth when his weight was 600 newtons on the earth. Now his weight is 100 newtons on the moon, then what is his mass on the moon? So to find out this, we know the relation between the weight of an object on the moon and on the earth. And the weight changes. But what happens to the mass? Mass of an object is the physical quantity contained in it. So mass does not change. So mass remains the same. Hence, mass of the same man on the moon is also 61.22 kg. Why? Because mass does not change. Mass is constant. Going to the third bit of the problem, which says what is the g on the moon, the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. For this we know the weight of the man on the moon, which is 100 newtons and weight of the man on the earth, which is 600 newtons. And the weight is given by m into g on the moon and the weight here is given by m into g on the earth. Let's say this is wm and we. The moon we will put it as capital M so that there is no confusion between mass and moon. We know that W M by W E is 1 by 6 which is M into G M by M into G E. M M gets cancelled therefore acceleration due to gravity on the moon by acceleration due to gravity on the earth is 1 by 6. And in this case, we also know what is acceleration due to gravity on the earth, which is 9.8 meter per second square. So it means acceleration due to gravity on the moon is 1 by 6 into 9.8 meter per second square, which will give rise to 1.63 meter per second square. So we find out that acceleration due to gravity on the moon g m is 1.63 meter per second square since the moon is one sixth that of weight on earth even the acceleration due to gravity is on the moon is one sixth that of acceleration due to gravity on the earth. Let's see problem two. How would a 70 kg man weigh on the moon? 
what would be his mass on earth and on the moon now we have the mass of the man so the given data is mass of the man on earth since we need to find out let us tackle the second part of the bit first what would be his mass on earth and on the moon so mass of the man on earth is the same as mass of the man on the moon we know that because mass does not change so we can comfortably say mass of the man on the moon is equal to 70 kg and we also know the acceleration due to gravity of any object on the moon is 1.63 meter per second square so the weight of the man on the moon is mass on the moon into g acceleration due to gravity on the moon so which is equal to 70 into 1.63 which is 114.1 newton so the weight of the 70 kg man on the moon is 114.1 newton and the same weight of on the earth will be 6 times that of weight of the man on the moon we found out that weight of the man on the moon is 1 by 6 times weight of the man on earth that means weight of the man on earth is 6 times weight of the man on the moon so 6 into 114.1 newton from weight of the man on the moon and weight of the man on earth calculations what is the mass of the man on earth mass of the man on earth is mass of the man on the moon now we will try to prove it but let us try to prove it from this example too so if you take earth is mass of the man on earth into acceleration due to gravity so g is known factor which is 9.8 meters per second square and we is known that is 6 into this much therefore m mass of the man on earth is 6 into 114.1 by 9.8 which will give rise to 70 kg we proved that the mass of the man on earth is 70 kg which is also a given fact that mass of the man on moon is also 70 kg so by finding the weight of the man on earth by using the relationship between weight of the man on earth and weight of the man on the moon we can find out what is the mass of the man on earth but it is a given fact that the mass does not change so it is the same everywhere